Welcome, my chingus, to Honest K-Pop Reactions. My name is Steven. My name is Josh. And we are here to talk about Michelle Lee's brand new debut song, Without You. Without You. Now, Michelle Lee was one of the finalists on K-Pop Star number one, right? I think two. No, it's definitely the first one, because the first one was the only one I ever watched. Mm. Um, and there was, like, a period where she was, like, rumored to be, like, a girl group in mm. in YG, right? I think it's YG. But I think they said it definitely fell through, and they went their yeah. separate ways. And so, you know, she got picked up by, uh, or distributed by One Decay. So congrats to her. Mm-hmm. She had amazing voice. Amazing. 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 So I look forward to it. I hope... I hope there's some flavor, though. Mm-hmm. I hope it's not just like a ballad. Because I know she can sing a ballad. Mm-hmm. Um, but I hope there's a little bit of flavor. I hope there's some belting. Yeah. So let's see it. Let's get to it. Shall we? Sad. Oh. Pouty. Man. Mm. This kid looks sad. This kid looks lost, homeless. Is that train tracks? And like... Is this Korea? Oh, it is Korea. Yeah, it's gotta be Korea. I don't know who those people are. It looks like a like a Black Nightcrawler. <laughs> I don't know why that like came ma- into like my head. Marvel Nightcrawler. Yeah. Well, oh. he's gonna catch him. Don't, don't even, don't even be like, huh? Just. You're a child. Just run. Just run, girl. Just run. <laughs> what you doing? Oh, she heard you. Oh, she's gonna... Wait, it's snowing? No. Oh. What you doing? Run on the train tracks. Don't run on the train tracks. Run on the side of the train tracks. Is that door even locked? That didn't... That didn't even locked. Like nobody would like Yeah, like latch it. Yeah. Man, she lives not well. I mean she's a child. <laughs> well when I said not generic concept, this is uh, what's happening. This is quite quite sombering. Mm, that voice. Oh, she lost a lot of weight. Still a good voice, though. When she was in K-pop star, she didn't know Korean. Mm. So she must have had a lot But she's half Korean, right? Mm. Mm. Could be wrong. It's been a while. Oh, I like that part. I like your high notes. Mm. I do like falsetto. I do like the go-to parts. They got both? Someone give this girl a hairband. Oh. Like all those. There's like a lot of like negative words on that wall. Hard to fit into Korean society with like the white makeup and the, the bright. And I could, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she was born here and could speak good Korean. Mm. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, this one is a 
great. It's Come great. about the cry face. That child actress is like She's killing it. Yeah. That creepy ass clown lips they got. Her. But that's but that's like creepy lips. A lot of Koreans wear that like really red lipstick. Oh, that's just dirty. That's a stop. It's like, oh, that's. Jisoo, that, that, like, that looks like a Chucky. That looks like Chucky to me. It's freaking scary. Hmm, why is that a red ball? Hmm. It's gonna be blood. I'm beautiful with that. This girl's can't be more than like, like what, four or five years old? A lot of hair. Can you get past that? That's a lot of hair. She's got a lot, of, a lot of facial expressions like for a four or five year old. Wow. Mini Ugg mm -hmm. boots. Ugh. Oh. oh. Meaning her future self. Ooh, that smile. Without you, no, she ain't Mm. Is that the Yeah. Credit. It's becoming more of a thing with the yeah. indies. Not even the indies, like, uh, two heart had credits too, right? Oh, it did. Like, yeah. the worst credits in the world. Because it's like scrolling at the bottom that you can't even read in, like, shitty ass font. That's true. That was like 30 minute, three minute credit. Mm. Um, but yeah, she does, uh, what's her face does it? Ooh. One that looks like a friend. <laughs> was like, what's that Su girl? Park Su Jin? No. Park So Jin. Maybe. The one that does. The one that did Mr. Lee. Mr. Song? Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Park So Jin, I think. Man, that video. Anyways. Oh. So, what'd you think? Let's You go first. I gotta collect my thoughts. That was a powerful ass video. Wow. Um, definitely not a K pop. Like kind of style song, right? Not like happy, yay, I'm in love, like holding hands. Like this song was personal and like meaningful. Uh, fantastic vocals, like for once. <laughs> like I don't, I'm kind of like trying to digest it because it's a lot of like imagery and a lot of like a lot of emotion. Like the song is. For me, sounds very like a Western style, like song. Um, definitely, if I didn't hear the lyrics, I would think this is like a Western style song. Um, but amazing, it was amazing. I don't know what do you think. Um, I thought it was good. I, I mean, I really like her voice. Hmm. Um, I'm still not entirely sure of the st staying power of this song. Mm. Like, I think this song benefits a lot from the, the, the emotion, the emotion the is yeah. with the video and the, but like as a song that I'm going to listen to, like walking to work, it's not, you know, it's, I don't know where it stands on that level, yeah. um, but you know, I, th I think good on her, you know, I, I think the video is kind of long, um. Yeah, I think it definitely could have been focused a little bit more with this message. There's a, some, like I guess the beginning is like you know she's half and people are looking at her weird, mm -hmm. calling her different names, yeah. like horrible things. Um, but there's just some imagery that's like 
too too much. I, I'm just not a big fan of like over the top imagery. Mm. Like if you got something to say, just say it. You don't have to uh, hide it in imagery. Mm. But um, I don't know. I, I I'm really happy for her. I mean, you know, it's not really a K-pop song. I mean, mm. she, she's doing what she probably would have done in a Western audience, you know, like mm-hmm. seeing this song, other than it being in a Korean, it did really sound like a Western song and, and it was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm with you on that. Like this song is not a song that I would listen to every day. Like I might listen to it every now and again. Or, Cause it's just, it's a song that's not easily digestible. Right. Mm-hmm. Like it, it makes a point. It conveys a message. And it's like really personal kind of felt message, which I kind of feel is like the same way of like Guyans fuck you. Like that song is not meant to be like enjoyed as entertainment. Right. And this song like is just so powerful and has such a message that I'm not going to be listening to this, like walking on the street on a sunny day. Like my mood's going to have to be like, like this to match this song. You know, this is like a, a song that you listen to when you're in a certain mood. Like some songs, you listen to it on like a rainy day and it becomes like better. And some songs you listen to at like four in the morning, like walking alone, like those kind of songs. Yeah, this is like yeah. something bad just happened. I need to hear some, you know. I need to hear like hear something. Some, something empowering. Like I'm beautiful without you. Like without you, I'm fine. Kind of like a deal song. Yeah. This is not like a, eh, I'm happy. What's on my, what's on my iPod yeah. kind of song. And for me personally, I'm a 95% that kind of guy. Mm. Um, but, you know, I think this is going to sound really bad. But like, if the if this whole song is kind of about, like, I'm beautiful without you, I don't need mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I, I thought she was a really beautiful person when I mm-hmm. saw her three years ago, four years ago, mm-hmm. whatever K-pop star one was. Mm-hmm. I mean, but she didn't lose a lot of weight. You know, if the yeah. whole thing is about not wanting to fit into Korean culture... It's like, whoa, why'd you have to do that? But that's like a small, tiny thing. It's not a huge thing. Just, yeah, it's a well, little I mean, counter to. I mean, she could have lost weight for like a whole different course. reasons, but it just looks this way, right? Like, oh, sure. you look a lot more like dolled up for a music video. But I'm curious to see like what the Korean reaction will be to this video mm. because this is mainly obviously for a Korean audience. And, you know, us foreigners in Korea are not as plentiful as you think. Uh, there's still a lot Especially of us. Especially African-American uh, uh, people. Yeah. Um, so this song is kind of, the theme is like, hey, I got made fun of a lot when I was a child growing up. People look at me funny, but I'm fine yeah. without you. Like, I don't need your your acceptance or whatever. Yeah. But... The thing about Korean culture is that fitting in and being part of a group is pretty important. Yeah. So I really wonder how this is going to be like received. Received. Yeah. I mean, I also wonder what's next, right? Like mm. after you come out with a powerful song like this, I feel like it's kind of hard to come out with like a, a pop happy song afterwards, mm. you know? It's a little, you're a little pushing yourself into a, a corner a certain type um, of genre yeah and like lehigh also is kind of like a powerful like i'm not going to conform to your kind of rules kind of concepty person mm. um but she also went kind of cute afterwards so i don't know a little bit uh, i really want to see what's going to be coming out next for michelle lee i hope she keeps making music yeah. but this is like a really oh Kind like, of you know, we were just reacted to that DJ Snake, which, by the way, if you haven't seen it, you should go see that. This is the fundamental opposite of yeah. DJ Snake, um, which is the point of it. So con- yeah. I-, I thought it was it was very good at what it was trying to do yeah. um, and good for her for trying to do something, because that's not how most groups do. Yeah. Um, but as far as jam time, it's, yeah. it's not my Jimmy Jam. We'll probably talk about this a little bit more in our podcast that we do every week. Uh, we do every week on Sunday. This past few weeks have been kind of a little bit hectic. Yeah. So we're doing kind of like a, a catch-up podcast. Uh, it's going to be released later on today. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about this a little bit more. 
there because yeah. this is kind of running long already. <laughs> and we do other things. You can find us on our channel. Just mm -hmm. subscribe. Blah 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 blah. Let's like, get to bah, it. Bah, 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 bah.